Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Abel Gray Katoma from Greatest Design Consult. This is my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number. You can call me on any of these numbers. Okay. Today I'm going to be showing you how to design your pile foundation in Prota Structure. Now, when you go to Story Zero, uh, you're going to see all your columns. Um, look at. Um, this uh, load combinations here uh, i'm going to show you how to actually make this appear all you need to do is to come under your display come to visual interrogation come to column display you can see i checked my azure load so this loadings here you can select as many that actually you actually want to display here okay now after having this here the next thing you do um definitely you have your soil report and let's say this is our report uh, from this design we have pile type slash diameter we have 450 mm board cast in place let's say on the site this is actually the report that was gotten on that site for example so we have 600 mm 600 and then we have 450 these are the uh, pile sizes that is actually recommended now the safe working load for 450 mm is actually 350 and then the safe working load for 600 mm is actually 550 okay now the next thing here we'll do is to come back to our printer structure here you can see here uh, let's say we are actually using the 108.5 kilo team uh, we want to get the pile for this now what we need to do now is to pick our safe working load let's say we are making use of uh, the 450 uh, thickness of our pile uh, at uh, six meters depth okay now the value here for our safe working load is actually 350 now uh, let me find from my calculator here Now, we have 108.5 kilo -nitin for this. Or let me look for a column that is more critical. I think this should be higher. I have 195. So if I have 195 divided by 350, which is our safe working load here, we are going to be having zero point something. Uh, let me check what we have here. 350, which is our safe working load. Uh, so if I divide this by 350, I'm going to be having 0 0.55, which is approximately 1. Okay. So what that means is that I'm going to be having one pile on this particular column. Okay. So if you go through all of this, you can check each of the columns. Um... So most likely this column that are around this area, this, 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 and this will most likely be the most critical of them all. Okay. Uh, these other ones will not be as critical as these ones that are here. Okay. So if we are designing for these columns, what we'll do now is to, uh, I can highlight all of these. Uh, I always like to use the filter, check on column, or highlight all of these columns. Uh, then I will turn off this filter and then I will click on right click here and I click on insert pile cap. So once I click on inside pile cap, uh, it's actually loading in the background. If you already love what you are seeing, make sure you like this video just give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually 100 percent free click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever i post videos i post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of designs okay now based on the calculation we did just now uh what this is telling us is that uh our all our columns are definitely going to be having just one piles 
okay um let's come down here to our foundation settings let's come to pile cap settings um you can see we have here under the penetration which is 750 the pile size here uh, i'm going to change that value to 450 and then we have the ultimate compression capacity here um if you check here our working load here it's actually 350 so by the time you multiply your 350 times our 1.5 okay um So if you multiply your 350 times 1.5, what you are definitely going to be having, um, sorry, that information is not here. Sorry, you have, when you multiply your 350 multiplied by 1.4, I'm sorry, please. Um, the 1.4 is to actually convert this to an ultimate um, compression capacity uh to convert it to ultimate uh you multiply by 1.4 so if we have our 1.4 multiplied by 350 we are definitely going to be having 450 so if i change this value now to 4 490 i got 490 okay nice uh 490 this is what we have and then the default pipe length it's actually six meters based on what we have here in our soil report which is uh, this uh, the pile depth is actually at uh, six meters okay so let's come back here it's at six meters then our penetration actually varies within the range of 75 to uh, 150 so uh, for this case I'm going to be using 150 as my penetration okay uh, so penetration depth is around uh, ranges within 75 mm to 150 okay so uh, i will leave that penetration at uh, 150 so here we have the spacing uh, multiplication factor between i'm going to leave this value as it is distance to face i'll leave this as this then the pile curve depth okay now if you look at this here now the uh when you have your pile less than or equal to 600 uh, your pile cap depth will be two times d plus 100 so in our case here we have uh the pile size okay the size of the pile is actually less than 600 so we are going to be multiplying 600 times 2 plus 100 so if you do that in your calculator we have 600 times 2 which is going to give you 1200 then plus 100 which will give us 1300 so that is the value we are going to be imputing there so what i will do now is to come back here and impute the value of 1300 uh the minimum uh sorry i can change this to 1300 here then i can put in a lower value here okay so uh the pile cap depth okay maximum this is the minimum and then this is the maximum so the maximum is going to be 1300 number of piles i'm going to be having uh minimum of one pile and then the maximum number of piles uh i will leave it at 100 okay uh maximum uh optimization candidates leave i'm going to leave all of these values as it is so if i come back to my pile here okay okay maximum spacing for your links so you can change all these reinforcement uh, settings okay we have the maximum spacing for longitudinal reinforcement bars i'm going to leave all that as it is uh, for this class allowable stress of the soil now this is actually also got seen from uh, the report okay so uh, let's come back to our report 
and look under our recommendation it is actually telling us to use 45 kilo newton per meter square for worst loaded five floors building okay so uh, and then this building as you can see uh, based on what we have here in our model is actually one suspended floor so um so 45 kilo newton is actually uh, the allowable stress of this uh, soil uh, based on the recommendation from the soil report so if that is correct the next thing here i will do is to click on ok now when i click on ok then um i will have to select all and then i'll click on design all So it's actually designing this right now so as you can see here we have uh, this is giving us a, okay uh, okay so uh we have few of them here that is giving us two piles but you can see the pile size here is telling us 200 the depth is telling us 500 which is actually not uh correct so uh let me edit for this foundation settings uh depth pile okay Pile size 450. I cap. It's loading in the background. Let me select all and redesign. Okay, now you can see it's capturing 450 as the size of this pile. Okay, so everything now is telling me one one pile is actually going to be sufficient for all of this, which is actually what I am looking for. Uh, but let's come back to these settings and check something quickly. Pile cap. Okay, pile cap depth. Okay, which is correct. We have done this already. Uh, okay. everything is in order so that's basically all you need to do to actually achieve your pile foundation design now if I click on ok if I click on ok now it's going to generate our piles on each of them with the pile cap itself okay so we can see very interesting right amazing so it's actually very very easy to achieve if you follow through this exact process you are going to definitely get it right so um like you know we have covered structural designs mechanical and electrical service drawings architectural working drawings both in two dimensions and in three dimensions in our youtube channel all you need to do is just to go down below the description of this video visit the channel and keep yourself busy okay make sure you stay safe and make sure you stay back.